When we draw a tree, our instinct is sometimes to draw the structure of a trunk and branches and then to try to draw the leaves over the top. But I'm taking a different approach here and I'm starting off with some soft irregular shapes which are to represent clumps of leaves growing on a tree and then later on in the drawing I'm going to add in the structure. And I'm using a soft broken line and my intention is to create the impression that each of the clumps of leaves is made up of lots of individual leaves and so nothing about the drawing is too overly defined or fixed. And as I'm working I'm trying to create a sense of volume on the tree so it looks three-dimensional and I'm doing this by adding areas of light pencil hatching lines on the bottom right hand of each of the clumps of leaves that I'm drawing. And this is to create the impression that light from the sun is coming from the top left of my picture and falling on the upper parts of the tree and casting the lower parts into shadow. And down the left hand side of the tree I've used a much paler, more broken line to create the impression that the light is coming from that direction and again that the tree is made up of lots of leaves rather than solid shapes. And now as I'm working you can see I've added in some stronger lines which create the impression of branches that we can see through the openings in the tree and also the tree trunk. And once again on the trunk I've included a highlight down the left hand side of the trunk which reinforces this idea of the directional lighting. And now in the later stages of the drawing I'm just adding in some more general tone and definition. And you can see along the bottom of the tree I've added some more hatching lines to reinforce the idea that it's being cast into shadow. And across the whole of the surface of the drawing I'm putting in some more broken pencil marks which will suggest that the tree is made up of lots of small shimmering leaves and create a sense of movement and volume.